Ugh. It's 9.23 right now. And believe it or not, this is the earliest I've ever seen Julia awake. <laughs> Stop. He wants to go to bed super late. I need 10 hours of sleep. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, bro. <sighs> Look at that, first time David's not using tap water. So in this package, I have something very special. I'm not gonna be able to lie to y'all, but you can see it's, it's a daily greens powder that we've been formulating for Gains Club, but it's not your average greens. It's not just greens, it's greens with some other key things added in here that men specifically should be taking every morning. And the taste is actually amazing. Not like, oh my God, guys, this greens powder is not that bad. You can actually stomach it. Like, no, I I'm gonna be drinking greens all day. So first thing today, I am extremely excited. Right now we're heading to go look at, I guess you would call it like a vehicle or an automobile that we're considering purchasing. I'm so excited, I've been wanting this. Yeah, so obviously we have the Audi RS Q3. Obsessed with it, it's grown on me. It's like a 9.8 out of 10 car, but we need to add something else to the fleet. Can I call it a fleet if it's only one vehicle? <laughs> I <don't> think so. <laughs> Hold on, is that Julia walking past the Starbucks with the off-brand name coffee? Okay, I didn't know we were gonna be this close to Starbucks. If there's one thing I know about Starbucks, it's the bitches love Starbucks. I feel like I'm like cheating on a great guy with this shit. <laughs> yeah, this is like the deadbeat guy that she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> the just the friend. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. <sighs> yeah, I'm be honest, this is doper than I thought. The, the question is which colorway because those are both fresh. So we took her for a little test drive right here. I got a, you call it a presupuesto. It's like a quote that I ended up getting all wet. But I think we're gonna come back next week and buy it, assuming we can get it delivered in time. Woo! It was so fun. I will say this, you guys are really going to enjoy this being in the videos. Damn, bro, that car is real messed up. Like, that's pretty much what I feel like after I have m more than one beer ever since I got to be 30. There he is. Hey. My Irish friend. What's up? It's the day. Happy St. Irish Day. Oh, God. <laughs> St. Paddy's Day. Also, tip for the Americans, okay? Don't say patties. Paddy's Day. With the D. Yeah, D. <laughs> Don't say Saint, I'll just say Paddy's Day. <laughs> it's not even Saint. No, nah, no, nah, we even leave it at just happy pa Paddy's Day. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> bro. So. Looking jacked, bro. When are you competing? So officially, I'm just under eight weeks out from the Ireland show. There's actually a show in Malaga in six weeks. So I might jump in, do the double. Yeah, win them both! <laughs> anyway, today I'm gonna take Rob through a little full body pull workout on the Beast Lab just yeah. to guarantee you that you get the W. Yeah, yeah, of course. This <laughs> this workout is what's gonna make me win. But if you lose, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Rob, Canes, bro, workout <laughs> complete. I gotta say, this man makes me feel well. I mean, I'm white, but you make me feel like real white, yeah, which is strange for an Irishman. Typically, we're quite pale, and I'm a Spaniard. Typically, we're not so pale, exactly. But at least you are looking pretty smooth. How is your body so hairless? Well, I'm glad you asked, Rob. It's because I regularly manscape, and luckily for everyone watching the video, today's video is sponsored. By Manscaped. Look, y'all already know I am a massive fan of the Lawnmower 4.0 from Manscaped. I use it twice per week to trim the hair on my chest and abs to reveal 
maximum muscle definition. I also use the Manscaped Beard Hedger every other day to keep my beard and my facial hair looking clean. And guess what? Manscaped just changed the game again with their brand new Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer. You know that feeling when you look in the mirror, maybe you just talk to a cute girl and then you notice you got some disgusting hairs coming out or even worse, you have some boogers showing because the hairs are so long that the boogers are starting to show. It is disgusting, nobody wants to see that, but don't worry because the Weed Whacker 2.0 is the perfect tool for the job. It is a powerful 7,000 RPM motor with an improved steel blade system and upgraded cutting performance. And because Manscaped is sponsoring the video, they're hooking us up with a coupon code you can use to get 20% off plus free international shipping. Just click that first link down in the description to take your grooming game to the next level and say goodbye to disgusting nose hairs. Eight out of 10. There's room for improvement. Honestly, eight out of 10 is very generous. Thank you, Julia. I gotta get way more height on that bitch. Alrighty, so there's something I want to talk to y'all about regarding the direction of my content because I've done a lot of these sit down videos with like the studio setup recently and overall it's been very overwhelmingly positive feedback. I've had a lot of people say, you know, these are some of your best videos. I've also had some people be like, I hope that the drone shots and the dope day in the life videos aren't going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. We're doing an amazing one today, but I think that the new style of videos Honestly, they're more efficient for actually like giving advice because I can sit there. I'm not like forcing them into a day in the lifestyle video, even though I think that mixture of like advice and day in the life is what made me unique at the beginning. But if we're being honest, I think vlogs and day in the life vlogs are a bit out of fashion. Doing these studio videos has made my life so much easier because as the businesses have grown and have demanded more and more of my time, trying to keep up with two of these day in the life videos every week, it's been exhausting, man, because it's one whole day of filming, one whole day of editing, or at least a half day of editing, and, and that adds up. Now, the other videos, sure, I still have to plan them out, but then once I sit down, it's like 20 minutes of filming, and then I send them to the editor. That's another thing. I don't edit those videos myself, which I never thought I would ever say, but I found someone who does a better job than me. I wouldn't trust someone with the day in the life videos because this video, for example, is gonna have like 100 plus clips. With the other video, it's just one long clip, and the guy I found is amazing at doing the on-screen animations and B-roll and text, and it's freed up so much of my time, which has allowed me to focus more on the businesses, but also just have more time to like actually enjoy my life with Julia. And if I'm being honest, the reason that I even do YouTube in the first place is first of all, because I enjoy the creativity of it. Like as far back as I can remember, I've always liked filming and editing videos. Back in grade school, I remember there was like a, a Treasure Island project and most kids just like did a written report or a PowerPoint. Me and my buddies filmed Treasure Island in Australia where we went around in like the woods and our parents places and filmed a bunch of ridiculous scenes that didn't even have anything to do with Treasure Island, just talking in Australian accents. And that's why I pay so much attention to like the drone shots, the music, it telling a story through the video, picking really cool scenes to shoot in because I love the creativity of it. But there's a second more important reason and this isn't something I talk about a lot because I don't like to like brag I've changed so many people's lives but almost every day for the past three or four years now I get DMs comments emails you know messages that man I was in a really tough spot you know I just went through a divorce I just lost my girlfriend I lost my job I was suicidal then I found your videos and that gave me the you know the inspiration and the action steps I needed to dig myself out of this deep hole and I don't take credit for anyone who's changed their lives that's on you that's on them but if I was able to play even like a little bit of a part in that I would feel guilty stopping making YouTube videos because in my mind that would mean there would be potentially people out there in difficult places that I could have potentially helped and and I didn't so I will not be stopping YouTube anytime soon I'm not saying I'm gonna do it till I'm 80 years old what I'm saying is that right now there's probably gonna be a balance like 50% studio videos, 50% dope day in the life videos going forward because that's a lot more sustainable for myself. Also, I'm curious if you could drop a comment right now, seriously, I want you to actually right now drop a comment and tell me what's the thing about my day in the life videos that keeps you coming back the most because then I know how to more focus these vlogs rather than just doing random shit. But maybe that's it, you just want me doing random shit throughout the day. Drop a comment, let me know. And also, big announcement because Julia She's gonna have some, we could call them exclusive videos coming online, exclusive to YouTube. She's bringing back her dead YouTube channel Woo! because her Instagram has blown up. Yeah, if you're not following my dating Instagram, what are you doing? JX.dating. And then I'm bringing them back to YouTube as well. You actually saw a comment the other day that was like, I'm unsubscribing from you, but if Julia starts a channel, I'm, <laughs> I'd rather watch that. So 
if, if there's other people that feel the same way, she's about to start that. <laughs> Now, it's been a minute since we've given you an update on Arvilla, a villa here we're building in Marbella. There's not too much new to update you on. I take that back. They're starting to pour right here, it looks like. I'm assuming that's gonna be part of the patio that comes up next to the pool. You know, right here, you're not just gonna be like chilling next to the pool. It's gonna be a patio up there. And then it looks like maybe this is the rebar for like the wall that's gonna divide our property from the street. We need a nice, nice tall, thick wall. Also looks like they're starting to build some scaffolding out around the house because check this out. Hold on, I literally gotta like Indiana Jones my way over here. That's not sturdy. That villa, which is part of our same project, it's the most advanced along in our project. You can see they've already like plastered and painted the outside wall, it's starting to look like an actual house. So they're doing this one, and then ours is third in line. We're gonna be looking like a real house soon too. I'm so excited for it to be done, but we're only going twice a week instead of every single day because the progress is slow. And now paddle mixins. We're gonna kick some butt. Yeah, let me know if y'all are annoyed by how much paddle content we're doing, but it's something that I'm filming also to see my own progression, and I'm honestly obsessed. All right, so I was able to film a Miranda match. Here are the highlights, starting it off with a nice strong shot for the W. Here is coming at Julia. She tried the lob, it didn't work. She defended that smash well. Here's another smash by Mick, tall Irishman who loves to smash it. I was able to get to it and actually win the point back to their side, which is tough to do. He beat us in a lot of smashes today. So here you see him smashing it again. Another great save off the glass from David. Bring the bag volley, volley to Julia. She tried to lob him, wasn't able to do it. He smashed it. Julia defended it, he smashed it again, and he got this one out of the park. <laughs> they won that point. He is a smashing man. All right, here is, that sounded weird. Here's another point here. Look at me digging another save out of the back corner. Coming up for some volleys back and forth and we were able to win the point on that one. Julia to Mick. Julia, again, trying to get it in this corner. That was a nice placement by Julia. He won that back. I got a nice hard shot down the middle. He won it back against me here and my volley forced the win. Thank you for the massage. <laughs> She's putting oil in my hair. Cause I was like, oh, my hair feels dry. She's like, we're putting oil in it. I was like, no, that's not, it's not needed. She's like, no, we're putting oil in it. You need it. So I'm not a fan of using the iron mitt, not the iron mitt, the thing that protects your hands. I prefer, prefer it raw. So ready, we've been buying these frozen pizzas. Casa di Mami. They're legit, the crust rise. Look how good it looks. And then what we've been doing is adding grilled chicken on it because the macros are 900 calories, 40 grams of protein, but then you put some grilled chicken on that bitch and all of a sudden, it's like a thousand calories, probably 60 Gs of protein. Anyway, we're gonna eat these pizzas, one for me, one for Julia. We're gonna watch this movie called Cocaine Bear that apparently got really good reviews. It's available to rent now. I'm guessing it's about a bear who does cocaine. A lot of cocaine was lost. I need you to go and get it. No, 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 don't eat that, don't eat that. Let's see what kind of effect that has on you. I give it like a seven out of 10. It was good. 8.3, I really liked it. I laughed a lot, like out loud. It was ridiculous, it was weird, it was different. It had this retro vibe to it. I would recommend you go see it. I would recommend you rent it at home, in fact. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, bro. If you made it to the end, I recommend you check out this video next. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead, click there to subscribe because I drop two new videos every single week. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly. <laughs>